What's going on, guys? I wanted to keep, keep you guys all updated on the amazing chart action that we're seeing on this Tuesday morning. Let's get right into it. Let's talk trade levels. Let's talk where we're going to buy, where we're going to sell. First chart up here, check this out. This is natural gas, number one. Look at the collapse that natural gas has had. All right, so we've gone from $7 on nat gas. We're now down in the $2.30 range. Incredible drop, right? I mean, that is unprecedented. You might say, well, how the heck does it keep falling? The answer is liquidations, all right? We're seeing forced selling at this point. Funds got over leveraged. Where is it going to stop? All you can do is go to the charts, but there's no guarantees when forced liquidation gets in charge. Number one, this level here from 2020, late 2020, uh, there's this key level right here around 220 or so. That's going to be your next support. There's also a pivot going back to April and May of 2020 as well that lines up right with that level. And we're getting very close to that support. That will be the next level to look for. Next chart here, we have Bitcoin. Bitcoin keeps running into this 25,000 level and getting repelled. That is major technical resistance. Right now, I'm in the camp that there's about a 40% chance it breaks, 60% chance it doesn't. If it comes down to 22,000 and breaks 22,000, it's going to 18,000. So watch that. Let's take a look over here. We have Home Depot reporting earnings today, right? Home Depot getting crushed on earnings, trading at 305 pre-market after closing around 320. Uh, the key technical level for a day trade, there's a gap fill right here, right around 287, 288, 289. That's going to be your first key day trade level. As of now, no swing trade level that I see. So just play it as a day trade if you're going to trade it. Otherwise, let it be. Let it settle. Let the three-day rule kick in, which says don't mess around with the stock for three days after earnings. Lastly, Tesla, guys. 100% run trading basically flat to negative this morning as the markets are down. The key on this is that you ran into all this resistance right here. Tesla stock is going to correct here, guys. It's going to come down. There's a small chance it could get as high as 220, but that's not a very big move percentage-wise. But ultimately, when it pulls back, there's a gap fill right here at around 140. That's your target price on a downward move. Again, Tesla to me is a dead on short. You guys have a great day. Come follow me on Twitter, YouTube. Follow me everywhere. Take care.